Dear congregation, today, we gather to reflect upon the precious gift of life bestowed upon us by our Creator. In a world often marked by turmoil and uncertainty, it is essential to pause and express gratitude for the blessings that surround us each day. Let us delve into the beauty of life and discover the profound reasons we have to appreciate and cherish it. Recognizing the miracle of life, Psalm chapter 139 verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Life itself is a miraculous gift from God, intricately woven together with purpose and intentionality. Each breath we take, each beat of our hearts, is a testament to the divine craftsmanship of our Creator. Let us marvel at the wonder of our existence and offer praise for the intricate design of our bodies and souls. Finding joy in everyday moments, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 12 13. I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice, and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink, and enjoy the good of all his labor, it is the gift of God. Life's true richness lies not only in grand achievements or momentous occasions but also in the simple joys found in everyday experiences. Let us take delight in the warmth of the sun, the laughter of loved ones, and the beauty of nature that surrounds us. Through gratitude, we unlock the treasure trove of blessings hidden in the ordinary. Embracing Purpose and Calling, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Each of us has been imbued with a unique purpose and calling by our Heavenly Father. As we navigate life's journey, let us seek clarity in our divine mission and courageously pursue the path laid before us. Embracing our purpose infuses our lives with meaning and significance, fueling our appreciation for the opportunities that lie ahead. Cultivating Gratitude in Adversity, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Even amidst trials and challenges, there are reasons to be grateful. Adversity has the power to strengthen our character, deepen our faith, and foster resilience within us. Let us cultivate a spirit of thanksgiving, recognizing that even in the darkest moments, God is at work, weaving beauty from ashes and leading us into a brighter tomorrow. Sharing the gift of life with others, ACTS chapter 20 verse 35. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. As recipients of the gift of life, we are called to share our blessings generously with others. Whether through ACTS of kindness, words of encouragement, or deeds of service, let us extend the love and compassion of Christ to those around us. In giving of ourselves, we not only enrich the lives of others but also deepen our own appreciation for the abundant blessings we have received. Embracing the journey of growth, Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Life is a journey of continuous growth and transformation, guided by the hand of our loving Father. In every season of life, we have the opportunity to learn, evolve, and become more aligned with God's purpose for us. Let us embrace the process of refinement, trusting that God is at work within us, shaping us into vessels of his grace and love. Finding strength in times of weakness, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 10. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then am I strong. In moments of weakness or despair, we are reminded of our utter dependence on God's strength and grace. It is through our vulnerabilities that God's power is made manifest, illuminating the path before us and carrying us through the darkest valleys. Let us surrender our weaknesses to the Lord, trusting that His strength will sustain us and His grace will uphold us in every circumstance. Embracing the gift of community, Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 10. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he fath left, for he hath not another to help him up. Life is not meant to be lived in isolation but in fellowship with others who uplift and support us along the way. Let us cherish the gift of community, surrounding ourselves with fellow believers who walk alongside us, sharing in our joys and bearing our burdens. Together, we can journey through life's challenges, knowing that we are never alone but surrounded by the love and care of God's family. Resting in God's promises, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run, and not be weary, and they shall walk, and not faint. In times of uncertainty or weariness, we find solace and strength in the promises of God. As we wait upon the Lord, our spirits are renewed, and our hearts are filled with hope and courage. 
let us rest in the assurance that God's plans for us are good, and His faithfulness endures forever, sustaining us through every trial and leading us into a future filled with His abundant blessings. Dear friends, as we conclude our reflection on the precious gift of life, may our hearts overflow with gratitude for the abundance of blessings that surround us. Let us commit to embracing each day with joy and purpose, cherishing the moments we are given and sharing the love of Christ with all whom we encounter. May our lives be a testament to the goodness and faithfulness of our Heavenly Father, who has graciously bestowed upon us the gift of life. Amen. Please like, share and subscribe to Make Everyday Biblical.